Hey guys, welcome to my channel Economics at a Glance. So we have done with elasticity, measurement methods, degree of elasticity and among the measurement methods we have completed the two methods that is first one, first one is percentage method and the second one total expenditure method. So today we will deal with the geometric method that is otherwise called point elasticity. Well why point elasticity? Because at every point on a straight line, we can measure elasticity. Just because at every point on a straight line, we can measure elasticity. That is the point why it is called otherwise point elasticity. Okay. So the formula to get the point elasticity is equals to elasticity value we can measure when we can divide the lower segment by the upper segment. Well, why this, so, so, sorry, what is the segment? Segment means, see, we are measuring the every point, elasticity on every point. So, taking the segment on the straight line, we will measure the elasticity at every point. Well, this is all about the theoretical part. Coming to directly graph, how we will measure the point elasticity, okay? So, this is a straight line. We will take different points. Let's say this is point A. This is a, okay, point B, point C, point D and point E. Fine, okay. So these are, I have taken five points on a straight line. Now I will measure the elasticity each and every point, okay. See how we will measure. So first one, let's, uh, before calculating, let's take every part is equals to one. Let's say, just a minute. All part is 1. This is 1. This is 1. This part is 1. This part is also 1. So first we will measure elasticity at point A. Starting from the top one. First elasticity at point A. That means lower segment divided by upper segment. At point A the lower segment is AE. Yes or no? But upper segment there is no upper segment because it is a topmost point. Yes? Okay. So AE, that is the lower segment, divided by 0. Okay, why 0? Because there is nothing in the upper segment. It is the topmost one. Okay, so tell me any number divided by 0 is infinity. Okay, so the value is infinity. Next coming to the point B. Okay, so at point B, the lower segment will be B. B, E and the upper segment is A, B. Yes. So, B, E divided by A, B. Okay. B, E. That means 1, 2, 3. We have taken this 3 part. 3 divided by this 1 part. 1. That is equals to 3. Okay. Elasticity. Next, we will measure at point C. C. At point C, the lower part will be C, E. Yes or no? This will be the lower part and this will be the upper part. So the answer will be C, E divided by A, C. C, E is 1 plus 1, 2. And A, C, 1 plus 1, that is 2. 2 by 2 equals to 1. Okay? So next is, just a minute. Next is, at point D, at point D, at point D the lower segment is D E, yes or no, D E and upper segment is A D. So it is D E divided by A D. D E here is 1 and A D is 1, 1, 1 that is 3. 1 divided by 3 that is 0 0.33. Fine. Next, next is point E. At point E, the lower segment is, there is no lower segment because E is the lowest point. So, there is no lowest segment. So, it will be 0 divided by upper segment is A, E. So, 0 divided by any number is 0. Okay. So, we have calculated the elasticity at each and every point. Let's write the point here. So, at point A, elasticity is infinity. 
At point B, elasticity is 3. That means E is greater than 1. We can write E greater than 1. Then C equals to 1. E is equals to 1. At point D, 0 0.33. 0 0.33 is less than 1. So E less than 1. And the last one E is equals to 0. Okay. So these are the elasticity value I have calculated at different points. Remember another thing. See, I have calculated at different points. But still, between C value is 1. Okay. At point C, elasticity value is 1. At point A, elasticity value is infinity. And at point E, elasticity is 0. So remember between point A and C, any point if you can take. Between point A and C. Any point if you will take the value will be relatively elastic. Why? Because the lower segment is higher than the upper segment. Similarly, any point if you will take between C and E, the value will be less than 1. That means relatively inelastic. Why? Because the lower segment will be less than the upper segment. You calculate yourself, we can easily know that why if this is such. In every case, you can find the same thing. Like between C and E, it is relatively inelastic. Between A and C, it is relatively elastic. Okay? So, these are the methods through which you can calculate the point elasticity. Well, next lecture, I will come with the arc elasticity, which is the last method of measurement. Till then, stay with my channel. Thank you.